Mr. Scott Myers. Scott, we're so excited that you're here. Scott has got to be one of the most tenured self-storage syndicators out there. Is it true, Scott, you've been doing this for 20 years? You've been syndicating for 20 years? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have been uh, syndicating for 20 years, been in uh, real estate uh, for 30 years now, and it pains me to say it, and uh, and I'm sure most people don't believe it when they see my face and my picture on screen here, but... Uh, <laughs> it's because yeah, you started when you were like 15, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't lie. I can't lie. We've been <laughs> at it for a while, but there's, uh, there's merit in that, and we're finding it out. Uh, when you're in the capital raising world, um, having tenure and having success over that tenure and, and going through a few recessions is... Uh, you know, there are some good things that come with uh, wisdom and 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 um, yeah, the scar tissue that comes from the lumps that we've taken in real estate over the years. That's right. That's right. Well, I'm so excited to hear what you have to say. So um, please, as you as the going through the presentation, feel free to post questions in the Q&A and we'll uh, make sure to ask those. So Scott, take it away. Fantastic. Well, first of all, can everybody see and hear and can you see my screen? I do have a PowerPoint. Is that uh, is it yes, showing? Yes, we can see it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, <clears throat> Uh, lots of things. Ruben, I, I appreciate you giving us uh, free reign here. And, um, you know, I thought about just kind of opening it up because I, you know, I could, I could easily start by saying I echo everything that every presenter has uh, said up to this point, and I have nothing to add uh, to that. Um, and, and really, that is uh, true. But I thought what I do is um, I'm going to touch on a little bit, you know, some of the, you know, the tools in our toolbox that we have to use right now. Um, there is no surprise right now that raising capital is a little more difficult. People are sitting on their cash right now. Some are sitting on the sidelines or waiting out, you know, to see what's going to happen with uh, the election, with a, a recession. Are we in? Are we out? And at the end, you know, I, I try to stay. Uh, I try to stay. I stay away from all of that. And we just put our head down and we continue to do the things that we've always done and including pivoting, but also learning about what is the investor looking for right now and where do we need to, you know, be able to go and meet them. And so it, it really comes down to, you know, well, there's a lot. You know, now, this is full context for we know that there's no magic bullet. Um, there isn't any secret sauce we do. So it really boils down to getting yourself there and market the right way. So that's what I want to focus on this time out is um we're gonna focus on uh, the marketing because really, you know, speed is the key to everything. It's just, it's the key to filling up your fund, it's the key to getting enough capital um in the bank, in escrow, so that you can close on your property or portfolio of properties, you know, whatever that looks like. We all know that speed is more important than anything uh, right now. And so I'll take a little bit of uh, time here to focus on what we're doing to make sure that when we have a fund that we launch, when we have a, a property, uh, a syndication, a portfolio that we're syndicating, that when we hold the webinar, when we begin to do the, you know, that push, that marketing to our list, and we begin to gain um, interest in it, that, well, we fill up quickly. We fill up the fund quickly and we raise those funds. Uh, all of that legwork happens literally years ahead of time. Uh, and if you haven't started doing these things, it's, it's obviously never too late and it's time to uh, double down. So uh, those who aren't familiar with uh, myself and a little bit about uh, what my company has done. Um, it is not me. It is a team um, for to, to get to the place where we are right now. And that is sitting at 4.3 million square feet and about 28,000 units of uh, storage and growing. Um, about 170 million in assets under management. Um, currently, we do buy and sell throughout our, our fund and individually. Um, we closed a $125 million fund so far in 23. We've got a current, uh, another fund that we've just opened up. It's for conversion in self-storage. So warehouses, uh, vacant, dark industrial buildings that we're converting to self-storage. And uh, we're also getting ready to uh, launch next month, another $25 million acquisition fund. And, um, you know, Ruben is, um, he's got the better studio today because um, uh, we we have this, you know, this little, uh, it's not a war, it's not a battle, but a contest as to who has the uh, the best background. But uh, you got me beat today. I'm in uh, Dubai right now. And um, we are, uh, we, this is my fourth trip over here. And we are raising um, funds over here for um, well, our next venture, our next large venture. And that uh, we will, uh, well, unveil at that uh, time. So uh, when the time comes. So let's, let's start, first of all, with um, how people find you, you know, if, you, if you're a syndicator, if you're a, a promoter, if you're a sponsor, um, well, it starts with a website and uh, not just throwing up a website or having somebody that, you know, um, in the family that is out of a job that knows how to build a website, build one for you. Um, it is making sure that you have uh, the absolute best of the best in terms of the, the back end and not only who has uh, built and the framework of your website correctly, but uh, you're doing SEO and SEM Correctly, we offer a free report at our website, and that is the the top of the funnel, if you will. That is uh, the lead magnet in which people enter their email address, uh, which then enters them into our database and our system, where then our folks can call them and to begin to talk with them about how we can help them. What are their investment needs? What are they looking for? 
We also highlight our successes on our website, as well as press releases. Uh, anytime that we have a closing, anytime that we have, uh, whether we've bought or sold, uh, when we've closed out a fund, you know, we've had anything newsworthy. We have a lot of a lot of facilities and in, uh, in many markets, a lot of moving parts to our business. Anytime we have a success and we're recognized by um, in in the press and the magazines, uh, we've been on news stations for you know various reasons. Um, I write articles. You know, anytime anything is published. Um, anywhere in the world that um, involves us and our business, well, then we're going to promote it. We're going to turn right back around and highlight it to uh, other places uh, as well. We do have separate pages on Facebook, one for raising capital, one that is personal, and then one that is truly on the on the investing side of the business. And uh, although it's good to have just one website for funneling traffic, we still have still have separate pages on uh, Facebook and uh, differing opinions on that. I know many people say that uh, you should only have one and it should be both a, a mixture of business and personal. Um, I, I can't say that I disagree with that, uh, although we've just taken a different approach. Um, we would still allow people to come into our personal page, but uh, really it should be, you know, business is business and personal is personal and the post should be different on, on those. At least that, that is our feeling. Um, if you If you're a syndicator, if you're a sponsor, you're raising capital and you don't have a podcast, um, you better go get one. You better start one right now. Um, the stats uh, are, are changing uh, by the minute in terms of uh, the reasons uh, why and the number of, well, the reasons why are because of the number of uh, eyeballs and ears that are on uh, the various podcast uh, channels, uh, whether it be through um, Apple, whether it be through Spotify, you name it, um, audio is king right now. And somebody can take a 20 minute message that you have tailored to them and you have their attention because they they clicked on you. You got a few minutes to, in, in order to get their attention, but then if they stay on, you got 20 minutes to teach them about what it is that you're doing and doing in a way that is non-salesy, but getting them comfortable with you. This is just one more way of getting them to know, like, and trust you so they feel comfortable when it comes time, when they begin looking into investments and investing passively that they invest uh, with you. So do it now. All about know, like, and trust. Um, uh, get great equipment. And uh, Rumi can really, um, you know, tap into that as well, and and you know probably you know tell all the reasons uh, why. It just um, it really does. It it needs to emulate everything in your business, which is you know it, it says nothing but success. It says uh, nothing but um, excellence. Get great quest guests on that um, you have a back and forth with, not just uh, anybody. Uh, otherwise, um, you're going to find that it's going to go in the can and it won't be out in the the public, and it won't be a good use of your time if it is somebody that doesn't um, really edify you or is somebody that is on the equal par with you. Great topics. Uh, we feel that interviews are the best. And also don't forget to have some people interview you from time to time. And we use key searches for what people are looking for in terms of self-storage or even you know private equity that are looking for passive investing. And whatever is hot and we get the most searches, well, then guess what? That's what we're going to do a podcast on. And then guess what? That's what the title is going to be. It's going to match those keyword searches so that they all come to our podcast and then uh, our website for our podcast. Do a lot of reciprocals. Put yourself out there. There isn't anybody that you, there isn't anybody whose podcast I feel that you can be on that would really bring down your level of credibility, if you will. At least we haven't run across that yet. Um, but there's a whole lot of folks that ask to be on our podcast and we protect it um, that we don't bring in for, for various reasons. So in an effort to get more episodes out there, don't just let uh, allow anybody to come into your living room um, you know, kick off their shoes and put their feet up on the on the sofa and then talk about whatever they, it is that they want to talk about in the midst of your family, which is um your your podcast network. So you you need to guard those folks and protect them. <clears throat> Articles, if you're not writing them now, you need to begin writing them. And and I'm not talking about Chat GBT. Um, yes, I I know, and we're not. I'm not here to get into a debate about this, but. Let's face it, folks know right now the difference between the two. Um, I certainly can. And, I, and I've read some very good articles that were written by AI because you know we run them through over and over and over again, and it's still not the same as your voice. And the minute that somebody sees an article that came out that, and they've listened to you on your podcast and they recognize this article didn't come from you, it's not your voice, they tune you out and they recognize that you're just doing this just to get articles out. So it has to be you. It has to be your voice. It can't be written, ghost written. It can't be plagiarized and it can't be written by chat GBT. So we pay to various sources to be within uh, as part of their channel. For the most part, people are contacting us because um, it, as we've mentioned, I've, I've been in this industry for, um, well, I've been syndicated for 20 years. I've been self storage for 25 and in real estate for 30. And most folks are seeking uh, us and our organization out to get quotes from us as to anything that's going on in, in the industry. So I have that, uh, that luxury at this point after doing it for so long um, that um, I get to write for Forbes magazine and some of the other folks out there. In terms of the socials, 
do nothing but record your day. Um, if you're looking and trying to seek the absolute best and trying to manufacture and script um, a good video, a good post, yes, you, it needs to be professional. You need to have something in mind to begin with. But if it's all scripted and it's super tight and it's staged and you've got you know things written on a whiteboard, you know behind the camera, or if you got someone mouthing it, or if you, you if you have you know, an actual script that rolls in front of your camera, people are still going to be able to see behind that as well. And they're getting really good at looking at uh, your eyeballs to see if you're reading and where it's coming from. So just turn on the camera and chat. If it takes you three or four takes, it's better. Leave the ums and ahs in. Just be real and relevant because at the end of the day, the folks that, that want to, the folks that you're going to attract that will invest with you are the ones that recognize that you're okay with us and uh, you're real, you're a human and you're transparent and you're if you're, if you're doing things the right way, they're going to invest with you regardless. It doesn't have to be, be because everything is polished and, and perfect. You just need to be real and relevant and get the information out there and let people know what it is you're doing. Celebrate your successes. Uh, we have a, a, an entire uh, strategy around bigger pockets. That's where the real estate community acts and reacts and interacts. And so the more articles that we can post there, the more um, forum posts that I can reply to, um, you name it, webinars and anything that we can put on bigger pockets if you're not uh, there already and you are a real estate syndicator, which I, I feel that most of the folks on this call probably are, then you should be on bigger pockets um, without a doubt. Um, and if this seems like I'm going fast, I am. I, I want to try to get as much information across as possible. We'll leave time at the end for um, Q&A as well. Um, but I at the very least wanted to get to the, introduce these topics to you to begin to think about or implement in your own marketing strategy. Um, if you're not in a mastermind, you may want to strongly, I, I strongly suggest you, you take a look at joining a mastermind of folks that are in the room that are doing things similar to you, but I have no problem being the dumbest person in the room. I'd rather be the dumbest person in the room with a, with, with a mastermind that I'm either entertaining, uh, joining or being in or any, any type of a business group, because that's where I'm going to learn the most. Um, if you're in a group right now that where you're contributing the most and you're helping, that's great. Um, I applaud you for that. But if you're not growing and if you've outgrown that group, then you find you need to find another tribe. You need to find uh, uh, some other folks to be able to hang out with. We are also we're active in um, I have my own mastermind. I'm active in another mastermind. And uh, we also attend many others. And um, I am a guest speaker for some of these other folks uh, that are capital raisers and different uh, self-directed IRA custodians that will bring me in as a guest speaker, uh, as an expert on self-storage or in uh, capital raising. So anytime you can seek out those opportunities, volunteer for those opportunities, and if they ask, certainly go, no matter what. Um, LinkedIn, uh, I think everybody has mentioned this uh, at least two or three times. So all I'll have to say is what the title is, is uh, you need to double down LinkedIn and you need to grow. And uh, don't be cheesy. Don't um, advertise over and over and over again. If you have not read um, Jab, Jab, Left Hooked by Mr. Gary Vaynerchuk, um, you don't continue to just, you know, come at folks uh, with an ask over and over and over again. You need to provide content. You need to provide education and um, help these folks along. And then just, you know, post what's going on again in your life, in your business. And then every once in a while, let them know, oh, by the way, we're having a webinar on this XYZ girl. By the way, I have an article that I just wrote on this. Check it out. By the way, I'm going to be speaking at here, here, and here. Um, let those folks uh, know what that looks like. And they'll, they'll, they'll find you. And then do good. Um, and <laughs> I don't know, this, does this have anything to do with raising capital? Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, conscious capitalism is becoming a, a thing. And people want to do business with businesses that are doing good uh, in, the, in the world. And not just acting as if they do, but truly doing it. Um, it has to be genuine. And it has to be sincere. Um, our business was started for um, for two pieces of the mission field. And one was because um, our, our kids are mission field. Um, my wife and I, um, let me see if, I, if you can see my cursor. That is my beautiful bride there, my partner in our business as well. Um, our fathers worked, but we weren't, weren't around much. And uh, we vowed to do things differently. And we were going to create a different uh, legacy in our uh, family. And we were going to start a business that, that allowed us to be able to pour into our kids' lives. Um, we weren't going to let um, somebody else or, or schools or other teachers raise our, our children. We wanted to do it ourselves. So we created a real estate business um, that allowed us to be gone six months out of the year, be on the mission field, take our kids with us to a uh, vacation along uh, with that and uh, to be able to homeschool and pour into their lives as well as uh, giving back. That is um, part one was our family. And part two is um, is the giving back piece. Uh, we, we build houses in Mexico and give them away. Uh, we built uh, almost 30 houses uh, now, almost 30. We built 29 houses now. And in November, we're going to build um, four more. Um, we take teams of uh, 25 people. They're friends, our, our friends, family, coworkers, 
um, business associates of all sorts. And uh, we set aside, we, we tithe corporately and we take 10% of our profits and we put it into a fund. And then um, we invite people to go with us and experience a short-term family friendly mission trip. And we pay for the whole thing. We pay for the house um, that we give to the family. We pay for everything, but their travel. So we pay for um, the uh, the bus ride down from San Diego to Ensenada, Mexico. We pay for their, their fees, their food, their hotels, everything else um, so that they can have a, a four day family friendly mission trip because there's very few out there. And then uh, the rest is up to God and to them as to what they do with it uh, after that. But again, it's not bragging if it's authentic. And um, it does, um, I, 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 will, I will tell you, without um, us doing much, um, it's pretty hidden on our website. Uh, but this is something that we do as part of our DNA. And uh, when people understand and recognize that, uh, that you're doing business for a different purpose, or at least that there's a big piece to it, um, they tend to want to invest with you as well, because um, you're in alignment, uh, perhaps with their morals uh, and their values as well. Um, I attend trade shows. I pay to be at trade shows. I get to ask to speak at trade shows. Um, if you're not doing that currently as an expert or getting uh, asked to do so, then you should ask to be on stages. You should ask to write articles uh, at the various uh, trade shows. And it's a great way to make yourself an influencer and somebody who's uh, then relying on as an expert uh, in the industry. So you can pay to do this. You can volunteer to do this, depending upon what asset class you're in or what it is that you're raising capital for. I'm sure there's an association for it. And um, if you are persistent, um, you will be able to get yourself uh, on stage or at least get some articles uh, written as well. Speaking of articles, we write them and um, we also do press releases. Um, my team submitted um, an entry for me to be in the Indianapolis Business Journal, the 40 under 40. I think every business journal in the country does that. So for those of you that are uh, under 40, get on it. <laughs> I made it at 38, just slid in right under. <laughs> And then uh, there are other uh, magazines that, again, you can pay to be on the cover of. They'll ask you to write articles for, but you can pay to be on the cover of. And then you just use that exposure over and over and over again. And then, of course, dun, 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 you can start um, going to the family offices if you haven't uh, already. Um, this is uh, my start date, and uh, I can't. Uh, 2021 was um, at the very beginning of 2021. Is um, I've been talking with Richard Wilson um, many years before that, but then I really got involved in family offices. And um, I know we don't have enough time for to talk about all the connections and uh, what that has uh, meant for us and the things that I've learned and pulled from the folks on the stage. And uh, thankful now to be asked uh, to be a part of um, at least some of these small panels to be able to give back as well. If you haven't uh, written a book, write a book. If you don't have an educational product, um, I, I, it's helped us. We started an education business many, many years ago, 18 years ago. Um, but be careful because that um, our, my marketing business, uh, I, I mean, I think we're all adults here um, and I can say this word, but it's a needy mistress. And, um, and it, it requires a lot of my time to market the educational tools and materials. And so I, I have hired a president and now I'm moving out of that education side of the business. And it's been very lucrative and it's provided a lot of resources. Um, it's provided a lot of intellectual capital for us. And um, it has allowed us to get access to deal flow from the students and the people that we've taught. Um, but if you're not careful, um, if, you, if you launch an educational product and business, um, you, you can have a 60 hour a week education business and a 60 hour a week capital raising business uh, as well. So uh, be careful. I caution you with that. All right. In summary, get a website, make sure that it's a good one with SEO and SEM uh, in it. Uh, post your successes, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, podcasts, get your own, be a guest. Be the thought leader by putting out content, uh, lots of it. Get in better, bigger pockets and have a dedicated effort to it. Build tribes, create your own tribes, become parts of uh, other tribes as well. And then uh, just go out and do good, um, not just to raise capital, but just to, to do good. And again, uh, education is the key to the content, uh, but not a 60 hour a week side gig. So there's my contact information. I think I went over, because I think he's back on again. But um, if we have any questions or time for it, I'd be happy to answer any. Wow. I just have to say, wow, wow, wow. That's God. Oh my God. That was such a power packed session. And then you gave so many golden nuggets to people, so many ways to do things, to position yourself, to go uh, make a place for yourself in the marketplace. But um, one key thing, or I say a good takeaway for everybody is just use your voice. That's very important, you oh, know, absolutely. because you have to be authentic. You have to be yourself because what you're trying to create is you're uh, trying to build a trust relationship with others. So people like to work with people. So you're trying to create the know, like, and kind of trust relationships. So people need to know you, who you are. They don't want it to talk to you about, or don't want it to read the article that you use, um, chat GPT or any other sources to write your article. I think that was super awesome. And we do have one question uh, in the Q&A for you, Scott. Uh, it's mm -hmm. from Emma. 
And she said yeah. uh, she would love to hear more detail about the bigger pocket strategy because yeah. uh, they have uh, they are the character LPs and the community hasn't been great source for capital because they want to be active and beginners and not accredited, accredited any tips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, th there's many, many areas and platforms in which we are educating people for exposure and that we can point back to for articles and uh, for influence as well. Um, so we've gotten a lot of influence, but I can't say we, that we have a lot of passive investors that have come out of that arena as well. Although I will tell you that in many instances, um, because of our education company, many people found us through bigger pockets. They come through the education side of our business. Um, they may come to our three-day event to learn about self-storage and then uh, recognize, wow, this is a lot of work. And um, I have to put up my own credit. That's a, There's a credit risk. Um, I have to put up a lot of my own capital. There's a, a capital risk. Um, I have to sign uh, you know, on the dotted line um, for a, a loan. And if I bring on partners or private equity, you know, that's a big heavy lift. And, and I don't know where to start. And there's going to be years before that. And, and they can realize, well, hmm, maybe I just take $50,000 and I can invest with Scott or this person over here. And um, I don't have the credit risk. I don't have the lease up risk. Um, I just get the returns and I get the depreciation because I get equity in it. And so we have, you know, by, by through our education system, which started in bigger pockets, um, gained some passive investors um, from that route as well. Wow, awesome. Thank you so much, Scott. I think there was a really power pack session. And uh, if you have any questions uh, more, you can reach out to him directly. And uh, I think he's a good resource and a lot of energy and a lot of tools and tricks that you have shared with us, Scott, today. Thanks again.